Welcome to my video, my first video on YouTube. My name is Serena Felicia Garcia Tarizan. I'm from Ganesha University of Education. So this video will talk about 10 questions of e-learning tests, design and development. And the first question is, what is online learning? Explain also synchronous and asynchronous learning. So, online learning, in my opinion, is we as students use an educational tool when we are learning whether it is on site or not. And synchronous learning means that the learning process happens at the same time and more in the teacher center. And the next one is asynchronous learning means the learning process based on students center and in different time. Next question is what are the basic features of an LMS or learning management system? First explain. I took five out, out of eight basic features that there they are announcements, syllabus, lesson, discussion forums, drop boxes or assignment about. So, for the example of announcements, we can see from the book, announcements. This one is announcements. As you can see, wait. As you can see, then next is syllabus. Next is lessons. 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 Next is discussion forum. This one. This one is discussion forum. Post forum topics. This one and drop boxes. Okay. So announcements become the first thing students see in online course, followed by syllabus. When the students know the structure and expectation of their course and lessons for their online courses, of course, the discussion forums when they discuss about the topic related to the courses and drop boxes is where all of students' assignments uploaded and only accessed by teacher. Next is as an online course teacher, given a sample of a good introduction writing for one topic method, please explain. So it's more like into announcement for me. Uh, and the assembly is hello everyone, I'm Gracia and I will be your teacher for this writing course. This online course will be the most often task you guys will be attend. This course will be successfully done if you guys keep the path with the syllabus I provide you. Before we start our course, I would like you to download and read the syllabus first. After that, I would like to ask you for giving any comment for the syllabus in the discussion forum that I already provide you. Good luck and thank you. Next question is why online material materials must be attractive? What elements elements are needed? Please give an example. So why it must be attractive because we are we as a teacher cannot be able to monitor their facial expressions, the student expression to know they enjoy the material or not in the real time. So the elements that are needed for this online course to be attractive, the first one is games. Cre create an instructive experience for students. We can use Kahoot as the tool. Make every explanation that is specific to be understood by the students. Provide samples and samples of questions for they to learn. And the last one is step by step guidance in every problem they have. Online discussion might be made for this element because students can discuss about their problem to their friends and teacher can give, them, give the feedback. The next one is please explain types of online learning activities and provide relevant technological tools for the types. Um, I will take three activities, online discussion, serious games, and portfolio. Online discussion, we can use Schoology as the real, 
the relevant technological tools Kahoot for the service guest and Google Documents when the students uh, submit their assignment, all of their assignment. Okay. Online discussion is important element in online learning. Sometimes it may not work well. How does a teacher optimize discussion? So I think as I know online discussion is written text, which means is a synchronous environment or a synchronous learning. Uh, so how to optimize that? The teacher need to monitor the discussion teacher need to check the attendance of students and teacher need to provide the feedback when students do a discussion uh, and then structuring a group activities maybe can help like the jigsaw method when the teacher make a small group uh, consists of two until three students and they can discuss about the topic that related to the course then they can discuss it to all of their friends about their knowledge and their group. Next question is, please provide an example of a learning resource that can be used to engage learners in online learners, learning. So the first one is, if the standard online course is about vocabulary, we can make a sample about vocabulary course, we should provide a some website short link for students. So I provide two, two, links to website the first one is vocabulary and learning learn english so for vocabulary for vocabulary for vocabulary you have to sign sign in first you have to sign first then you can start with the game the first one like this Okay, the first one is play mean play mm. uh, right? wrong so you can see that frame of fire phrases like them is to be on fire to clear up courses are hardly useful to play so you can play the game in here and the next one is English vocabulary. You don't need to log in. You can choose basic one. Basic one. Vocabulary. So as the first, you can start with from it. So this are some vocabulary. From vocabulary, you have to log in to play. You can start learning, but from this one, you don't need to be logged in like this one. First, my class, first glasses, first card, first bracelet. Yeah. Oh, so that's how you bracelet. You put this here, so that's how you use this website. And next one is kindly give an example of effective assessment in English online teaching and learning. You can pick one or integration of more than one language skill. So I took from the last semester about. Scientific writing from Miss Ekawa Uni. Uh, so, the assessment that used by her is formative and summative, and they assess student progress process and make a mini proposal, and that's for formative assessment and in the last assessment is summative assessment when she assess the 
the result of our mandatory result. Uh, this can apply in online learning because uh, when teacher provide a discussion forum, teacher assess the process and the progress of student, how they ask, how they answer the question from the student, and that more to be formative assessment and then for the summative assessment i think it takes a lot of part in online course like uh, the assignment they submit in the online course that will be a summative ass assessment because teacher just assess the result the final result of their knowledge and next one is what are the basic elements to consider when building an online course? Please explain. So, basic elements for me to build an online course is syllabus because when teacher doesn't have syllabus, uh, they can have lessons. So, I think that teacher should have a syllabus first so they can make lessons, discussion forums, and they have a resources. Uh, and basic knowledge for teacher to make online course is to know basic program of word processor, spreadsheet, total manager, and mail. Understanding properly how to save, how to upload, and how to download file. And then they have to master to use the internet so they can build, build an online course. And next is, please give an example of online lesson in your class for one meeting. So, I choose Mrs. Radmi PFL course in Schoology. So, this one. So, Ms. Radmi will provide uh, like discussion, uh, like she provides material first. We have to uh, make a summary of the material a week before the material will be explained by Ms. Rasmi. So I I will just submit it. Then next after Ms. Rasmi uh, us to make a summary, she provide us again with discussion forums. What we already make a summary topic that already we summarized will be discussed with all of the students and then that how we discuss and then in the next week when the uh, when the class began Ms. me will explain more about the topic that related to our discussion and about our summary and i think that's all about my video about 10 questions of e-learning design and development i hope you guys understand what my explanation mm.